Don't worry about the Knicks, cause this your boy Chris with the Knicks. Alright, so, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2008. New adventures. All new types of stuff. Anyways, Happy New Year. Hope y'all are having a good New Year. I just wanted to jump on the whole Logan Paul suicide, um, suicide forest in Japan situation. Alright, so I finally seen a video on YouTube. Well, on TMZ, they had the uncut version. And then I watched Lovely T. Shout out to Lovely T. I watched her video about it because I just saw it trending, you know. But I don't really be having time to like watch all this stuff or see all this stuff because I be working. So <clears throat> I see in between. Whenever I have an off day, I look in between stuff. And my whole take on this is first of all, I do think that it was a disgusting uh, video. I think that because um, it's trending all around the world. Um, you know, suicide is nothing to play with. Depression is nothing to play with. And I do feel like he was doing this just to get views. I do believe that he didn't think he was going to see a, a body or whatever. He did seem kind of semi-sincere in the the original video, not the uh, apology video. The suicide video. Uh, suicide Park video. And the Asian guy came out and said, yeah, you know, I know him. He just did this, like, a um, couple of minutes ago. He was 21. And for whatever reason he did it, you know, that's very sad. Then I searched up pictures about this park. They had heads and, like, skulls and bed, um, bodies that have been there that just completely decayed and disintegrated. And this is in Japan. Now, this is very sad. Alright, so I'm back. Yeah, you know. Uh, I guess for the whole thing, like I said, my take on him, he should have been a little bit more respectful. And I know a lot of his fans is very young. He's 22, you know. But, you know, yeah, like Lovely T said, you know. You gotta help um, adults to a certain responsibility. And he is a 22 year old man walking around in acting 14 year old, wearing, you know, all this um, bright colored stuff. He was talking about, you know, he's wearing a Pikachu hat and he's wearing uh, something, a robe that he called kimono. A lot of Asian people got mad at that because they were saying, like, oh no, you know, he's basically mocking. You know that culture. It's like if he walked around with an Afro wig and a, a Kool Aid T-shirt on. You know, going to Compton saying, "Oh, you want to see a dead body?" <clears throat> like from the movie, movie Boys in the Hood. Um, you know, basically that's their reaction to that. And you know, in the video they was trying to give you know encouragement. You know, not to commit suicide. If you're going through things, here's a hotline. And that's really good. But, um, like I said, he should have known better. You know, YouTube put out a stupid statement basically saying, uh, we're sorry he did it. He's sorry he did it. Things go on, blah, blah, blah. You know. But his, even though he didn't monetize the video, you know, he still makes a lot of money. Rocking around, making mindless content, and I'm pretty sure that my video will get demonetized, or I have to prove it for a monetized, because they'll be like, "Oh, this is not deemed uh, suitable for creator content." Yet and still, his video was posted, and it wasn't restricted, it wasn't taken down. He took it down for the backlash, but of course, whatever you post online, will somebody will copy it, and he has a big um, following, so people downloaded it and clicked it and whatever, you know, and people like me or people like Lovely TR or The Vice or, or anybody else, you know, they usually get their stuff demonetized 
or has to be approved and his stuff he makes a lot of money uh, a dime his videos come a dime a dozen from doing virtually nothing stupid content mindless content you know jumping off things breaking things you know acting stupid you know i can't tell him apart from the nate garner the logan paul jake paul's v lads tv Vladdy tv well at least Vladdy is funny he does pranks but <clears throat> still you know you, you can't they all start mashing up and they all make a, a dime a dozen money he has a sponsor from pepsi you know a lot of these t youtubers especially black youtubers you know we don't pull in that kind of money like that we're not breaking bank or making hand over money hand over fist you know we don't make bank like that and you could do a video about talking about real topics or talking about just doing you being you you know your day-to-day -day life and they still you know feel some type of way about that but his you know his content is still you know like nothing happens to it every video he gets to monetize and i'm not hating on that you know but i'm just saying and this youth in this day and age and this youth is being dumb and down and i feel that a lot of these kids who seen this video or watch it you know they don't know like i guess the seriousness of you know depression or suicide you know some whole households are not built to have a, you know have a loving status you know you never know what somebody's going through you have people who you know hang themselves and then you have other people who shot themselves on air you know they take pills or there was one guy who jumped on a a, a saw machine where you saw wood in half he sawed himself in half you know you have people who shoot themselves you have celebrities who have done that you have people who are models or strippers you know playboy bunnies chippendale dancers all types of people people who are youtube famous or legit famous you know you never know what's going through people's minds and so the youth the youth who you know not knowing the seriousness of it you know that's the seriousness behind it that he kind of uh, at the end you know just took it like a joke you know oh well you know it's like you know yeah if you're depressed just uh, call his hotline but it just didn't seem like he was too sincere and that's some real stuff you know a lot of people do not have a household or are they getting abused or, or something and so like even though you may have that household even though you may have a support group a lot of people don't a lot of people can't you know bring themselves or pull themselves up from under that you know and by him having a big platform he should have took it a little bit more serious and not to jump on him too much but a lot of people even not not even just youtube famous people a lot of day-to-day -day people who share stuff on um, line who watch the mafia videos where the enemies are getting chopped up or stuff from best gore or crime scene photos you know sharing it on you know your social media platform and you should be held accountable too you know let's just not make this you know a dart part a dart thrown party at um logan paul or logan jake or whatever his name is you know we should help people who are not famous who are on um who uh don't have a dollar to their name sharing this content you know it's the exact same thing you know you need to bring awareness awareness is what he should bring it's like people getting raped or killed or sex trafficking awareness not to make it into a joke not to make it into a you know a, oh well that's not me party you know but it's fun to look at you know that's my um take on that too so 
Um, I just want, so while this is in the heat of the moment, um, I guess it might die down for him. Um, his 15 minutes fame might be over. Hopefully he takes um, to make more serious content. Um, not saying he has to be all super serious or act old or whatever. He's only 22, but <clears throat> this should be a lesson learned for him and for other people. <clears throat> Whether he has a, a name to him or whether, you know, everyday, day to day people, you know. You know, like I said, I've seen on YouTube where people were sharing that mafia video where the enemy was getting chopped up. And it was being shared over a thousand times and likes and stuff. So, you know, we have to have, help people that do that accountable too. Anyways, comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. Anything you want me to talk about, comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris with an X. Peace.